This is David Hofmeister's Unwind Your Mind Back to God, read by Tarana Singh. Today we continue laying the foundation with Book 1. In Chapter 6, this is Section 5. Is the Devil Real? Hi, David. Could you bring clarity to a question I just have not been able to get a consistent answer to? Is there an entirety of evil such as Lucifer, Satan, Demiurge, etc. as mentioned in the Bible? The Urantia book, Gnostic writings, etc. that is out to sabotage mankind's awakening. Or is it that which appears as an evil force just another one of the ego's attempts to confound, frighten and confuse the sleeping mind? Thank you for your help and patience on this topic. And if there is a real devil, do we need to forgive him also? Wanting to wake up. Beloved one, Thanks for writing. The devil, Lucifer, Satan, is just a belief held in the mind. When the belief is exposed and released, it is apparent the belief was never real at all. The ego is synonymous with belief. And in heaven, there is no belief. Everything of God can only be known. The ego is dispelled by withdrawing faith from it, not by attempting to fight or resist it. What a mind seems to fight or resist seems to persist in awareness because the struggle comes from the belief in opposites. To believe that divine love can have an opposite, which is the ego, is clearly insane. Forgiveness is the release of illusion. The ego is to be released. It only seems to be a battle while the belief in opposites is held as real. Illusion is not dispelled by words, but it is dispelled by aligning with Holy Spirit and by accepting the correction for error. Error is never to be fought against. It is only to be exposed as nothing and thereby released from awareness. The concept of entities is nothing more than a projection and it is more direct to say that the ego and the Holy Spirit are decisions. Decide for God by accepting the correction for error. The sole responsibility of the teacher of God or miracle worker is to accept the atonement. This acceptance brings consistency and peace and stability to the mind. This opens the way for the remembrance of the kingdom of heaven or divine mind, Christ, God.